Hey, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to kern typography properly when you're working with a logo or any design typography. So being a designer, we tend to download fonts online for free. And a lot of the times it is kerned pretty badly. So for example, if we go on dafont.com, you can see here that when we go to download a font, you can see sometimes it's previewing that there's weird spaces in between the letters. And kerning is all about having a nice equals space in between two letters, right? And when we download these fonts, sometimes you're gonna have to customize it and edit it once we drop it into Illustrator. So I'll scroll down here. You can see some of the fonts here. Obviously some are very tightly kerned like that one, provocatively. Um, some, look at this one here, Revolution, the I and the O is a bit weird. So when we download fonts, make sure that you check that you're downloading good fonts um, that have proper design in the typography, in the tracking and the kerning. So what is kerning if you're not a designer? Basically, it's the space between the two letters. So I've got this word here that says space dog. So we have this space in between these two, each letter. That's called kerning, right? And between each letter, there's gonna be different kerning on both sides, right? So between the P, there's kerning on the left and there's kerning on the right side, right? So sometimes you run into situations where you have certain letters that are actually harder to kern. For example, You've got all these letters over here. So you've got L, 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 O, 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 L, V, Y, V, and V, O. And there's some other examples as well. But when it comes to an O, the spacing is different because of this round shape. You basically get this weird um, space like this that goes outwards compared to other ones where you've got space like this. It's more of like in a box. Now, to kern well, it's all about the illusion of space and using your eye. So I want you to imagine that we have um, some sand, right? And in between each letter, we're looking at how much sand is filled in the space, in the white space. So you wanna look at the empty space and you wanna see roughly with your eye, like how much is this sand filling up, right? So we can see here that it's pretty even on, on these here, right? Obviously with the S, it's got uh, this certain shape that, that gives a bit of space there, but on based on my eye, I can see that it's it's fine, right? But then we get other spaces here where it's sort of like, you know, a bit weird. We've got space here. We've got the O here, so we've got a lot of space here. And basically, you want to imagine that you're pouring um, from a time glass, uh, basically sand in these spaces, and that's how you get a visual sort of reference of how much sand or space is in there to get it to where you want it. So for example, if we have here, we can see here, the L and the O, there's too much space, right? So you can see there's a lot of space here. You know what I mean? So what we need to do is we need to come into here and I'm gonna press Alt or Option if you're on a Mac. I'm on a PC, so I'm gonna click Alt and tap the left keys to tighten that up a little bit. And then now it basically tightens up this space a bit more. And now if I zoom out, I can see that it feels a bit better, right? So that's just one example. So I can grab this font here and now I can type in maybe another word. Now, what if this font was like a bit more wacky and spaced out like this? Like maybe we, we type, maybe we made it a bit like this. It was wonky. Now, obviously if I zoom out, you can see that it's not balanced, right? Visually, my eyes are telling me there's something wrong. So we need to go in here and start to kern it. So I'll press T for the type tool, come in here. I'll hold Alt and I'll start adjusting things like this. So I'll use hold alt or option, tap the left key. You can tap the right key to go right and left to go left like this. Now the Y has a weird shape because you can see there's a lot of space here. So imagine the sand. We're imagining the sand, how much space. So I'm gonna zoom out a bit more. I'll move off this artboard. So I can see that there's still a bit weird spacing between the H and the O. So I'm gonna go in there and just tighten that up a bit more. If you hold, um, control while you hold alt or option, it's gonna sort of double the kerning, uh, the amount that you're going with it. So you can see it makes it faster. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna make sure that this side is even on the other side. So I'll tighten the W up a little bit, not too much. The D there, that's okay. And remember each letter um, next to another letter, there's differences. You've got round shapes and straight shapes, like an I is a straight. So that can be tighter with some letters. So, Overall, you can see how we improved it way better. It's readable, it's tight, it feels balanced on my eye. 
I could probably go in there and maybe tweak maybe the wire a little bit, but overall, I think I like it. So basically, that's how you create a good kerned piece of type. So make sure you're always looking out for those things when you're designing a logo or you're designing a layout and you've got bold type. It's okay to stretch type out, but try and not do that. Like only if it's for a specific objective or goal, it's an abstract art piece or specific client needs that a design that's more um, on the risky side, etc. So that's how I can, and that's how you can professionally and how to get it right. If you start getting into like designing fonts yourself, you can use Font Self. Um, they're not sponsored, but I, I really like that tool. You can actually use that. If you're on a Mac, you can use Glyphs, and basically there's tools in there that allow you to kern fonts really well. So those are my tips on actually kerning like a pro designer. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments below if this was helpful or not. Remember to smash the like button and hit subscribe for more graphic design content and tutorials every week. I'll catch you in the next one.